Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're going to find out what are your biggest obstacles right now in life. And uh, we're going to get some advice for you as well. Today is the 4th of March, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 11.04 a.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get a reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me Virgo's obstacles right now. And what are the advice? Thanks for being here, Virgo. The world at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo, the Page of Swords doesn't really trust. Now, it could go vice versa, okay? Either your one of your biggest obstacles is that people don't trust you or you don't trust people, okay? But it could go, also go both ways. Now, page of swords, sometimes I read it as a person who is like a smart aleck. Virgo, please don't get sensitive. I'm also a Virgo. I'm just going to tell you everything that I see here, okay? If you're not a smart aleck, then that's not you, okay? It's a general reading. If you want me to, uh, if you want to book a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below, uh, which is way more accurate, okay? Um, the page of swords is like, you know, um, Sometimes I feel like Virgo, for some of you, it could be you just saying something and you do know better than the rest because Virgos are intelligent, right? But people don't like it. It feels like it, like you rub them in a wrong way in, in some way, shape or form, okay? Now, again, it could go vice versa, right? You could be dealing with somebody who is like a smart aleck, who constantly um, wants to tell you what to do, like they know better, okay? So again, bear in mind, it could go vice versa. Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is that energy of, you know, wanting to one-up somebody or somebody next to you, somebody who is in your life who could be very competitive. So, but it could also mean, Virgo, for some of you, um, either you're way too competitive or you give up way too soon, okay? This card indicates either fighting or not, fly, or not fight at all. It's like fight, fight or flight, that kind of energy could be either, either one of these things, okay? Page of Pentacles. Another thing I'm picking up on is Virgo. You always try to help. And right next to it is the Three of Swords. Always remember this though. If somebody never asks, if the person who is talking to you, telling you something, if they never ask for a solution, don't try and give them a solution. And it goes back to this, this page of swords here. Sometimes when people say something to you, tell you like, you know, tell, tell you their problems or whatever that's going on in their life, it doesn't mean that, you know, they want you to, help them solve their situation, their problems, okay? Maybe they just want um, somebody's shoulder to cry on or somebody to vent or rent, okay? So that's another thing that I'm seeing here. That's just for some of you, okay, Virgo, but it could also go vice versa again. Um, Maybe for some of you, Virgo, if you're going through some issues, that, because the thing is a lot of Virgos prefer to deal with their own problems and don't really like to, you know, bother other people. If you are in that category, then Virgo, maybe it's time to ask for help, right? It's okay to ask for help. That's, again, for some of you, Virgo, and the sun here is in reverse, the star in reverse. For once in reverse. 
I feel like Virgo, some of you, your biggest, one of your biggest obstacles will be like surrounding with people who just could be deceptive against some of the sorts of numbers, may not really truly be like a positive influence in your life, makes you feel really unhappy. And the star sometimes can also indicate we aim for too high, like the ambitious, your ambition is too high or too out of reach or too impractical. That's just for some of it. I mean, and Virgos are perfectionists, right? So this is one thing that Virgo, that I've been telling myself to when you become way too much of a perfectionist, you don't end up doing it. You don't end up taking risks, right? Um, so this is why the stars sometimes in my birds can indicate something that is kind of unattainable Okay, but you could be putting a lot of pressure on yourself through swords. Also, can you give some of you, you may have some heart issues, not all of you, okay? Um, but the three of swords and the sun in my verse, nine of wands in my verse, some of you may have been hurt before, wronged, deceived. This could be the reason why the page of swords is right here that you end up not trusting and you're always very skeptical about people, very suspicious of other people. I mean, it's good to protect yourself, but sometimes when it's being overdone, it may not be very healthy, right? Might push certain people away because of that. Um, let's pull up more cards here for a go. Some of it, Virgo, also, it's like um, you are so genuine, you are so kind. Again, you're very helpful most of the time. But I do see some people don't want to be helped, so just leave them alone, right? Um, and Virgo is that a lot of Virgos are the ones who like try to fix people. Maybe that could also be an obstacle for some of you. And then I've also got the devil here. Fear, insecurities. Eight of Pentacles. Some of your obstacle would be you just being a workaholic, overworking yourself. And Virgos are known for that <laughs> anyway. Um, but the Eight of Pentacles, it's also somebody who focuses on something Again, paying too much attention to the details where maybe that that might lead you to losing sight on other things. And that's what I'm seeing here. Work smart instead of work hard. Yeah, spirits could be advising that. And then we've also got the tower here in my first. There's a lot of fear here, Virgo, in regards to the future. Like, what if this happens? What if that happens? Just all of the um, the worst possible scenarios that you can think of. Virgos are very analytical and also can overthink, overanalyzing. So, um, Virgo, if somebody, that could actually be an obstacle. And that creates a fear of starting a new chapter with the world here. And for some of you, Virgo, there's something you've been keeping an eye on, wondering if you should start, wondering if you should do it. But your fear could be holding you back because you, you keep thinking and you keep thinking about all of the details that could go wrong. <laughs> okay. So I would say, Virgo, best is try to maintain positivity with the sun here. I keep hearing if somebody doesn't ask for your advice, just don't, don't give it to them. Just listen, right? I have a friend. She's a Capricorn. She's not a Virgo. But I, every time after I meet up with her, I get so exhausted. My energy feels so drained. First, she talks too much. She likes to cut you off, cut me off, and um, and she always gives her opinion or advice, you know, unsolicited, un, unsolicited advice. <laughs> I can't say that word. Like, I, you know, when you don't ask for that advice. Um, 
and then she just keeps going on and on. And I remember she was talking at one point in time, and I was literally dozing off. <laughs> so, um, some of you, you may have somebody like that who is draining you, or you could be that person who is draining other people's energy. Okay, so bear that in mind. Let's see more Virgo. <laughs> And I, I remember I was like, oh my gosh, I'm literally dozing off as she's talking. It's because she talks so fast and she talks and she just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And you just feel so exhausted having to listen to everything, right? And she doesn't really allow you to talk too much. And just when you're about to say something, she cuts you off. And you're saying something halfway and she cuts you off. And you just go like, okay, I can't even get a word in, you know, and it's very exhausting. And now I have to listen to everything that she's saying or trying to say. But anyway, Virgo, five of wands here is in reverse. Avoid drama, okay, Virgo, definitely avoid drama as much as you can. And for some of you, it could, your obstacle could also be not like confronting somebody, okay? because you may have fear of causing drama. So again, you should know where you stand here. Are you the Virgos who would usually speak up, speak your mind and cause drama? <laughs> or are you that Virgo who don't like to speak your mind because you don't wanna cause any drama? So vice versa. And I, I always feel that balance is the most important thing. Only when it's necessary, only when you think because the King of Swords is right here. Only if you really are 100% sure you've got all the information that you need and you know the truth, and um, then you can speak your truth, right? Um, definitely don't say something before you filter it. And again, Virgo, it's different for each and every one of you and the Emperor in reverse, the lovers in reverse. If some of you, you do cut people off very quickly, okay? You don't give people a chance um, or it could be vice versa you don't cut people soon enough and you keep giving them too many chances okay again the devil here for some of you okay I'm not saying this for all of you it may indicate fear insecurities but could also be addiction any sorts of addiction whether it's alcohol cigarettes substance abuse or controlling issues, possessiveness. It can be any of these negative traits, which I feel like, you know, most people do have it, but, you know, nobody's perfect. And the devil is right here. That's why I'm bringing this up. And obviously, it's not for all of you. And then we've got the tower, or sorry, the world here. But I feel like right next to each other, it's that energy of like, I'm afraid to separate myself from what I'm used to what I'm most comfortable with. I'm afraid to start a new chapter because, you know, I'm afraid to be out of my comfort zone for once in a verse, not a once in a verse, to not being able to deal with these changes. And that's just for some of you, Virgo, okay? And two pentacles can indicate indecision. Some of you, you could be so indecisive, you can't choose. Um, but that's usually like more of a Libra thing. Okay, I have a friend who is a Libra and the reason why the Libra thing came up, uh, came up <laughs> in my mind is because of the Five of Swords right here because the Swords is like very airy energy. So I have a Libra friend who can never make up her mind and gets, so, it's, I get so annoyed by it. <laughs> so someone could be a Virgo Libra uh, cusp, okay? It could be lately embodying that Libra energy, or it could be dealing with a Libra. Some of you, it's you having to deal with somebody who can make up their mind, okay? And that could be one of your biggest obstacles is that person who can't make up their mind, whether it's your romantic partner or somebody you work with, or it could just be you can't make up your mind, okay? I feel like most Virgos can, but you know, obviously we have our ups and downs, just like the two of pentacles here, up and down, up and down. Sometimes we are decisive, sometimes we're not that deci decisive. But um, in any case, Virgo, seven of wands right here. Again, 
some of you, one of your biggest obstacles is you being a little bit too uptight or defensive, okay? But I feel like you definitely have good reasons for it because you want to make sure that you're protected. You want to make sure that you're safe or um, you're ready because the seven of wands is like, I'm getting ready, right? To defend myself, to protect myself. But it could also mean overprotectiveness. So for some of you, it could be over overly protective over yourself or over people you care for. Okay. Hmm. And also, Virgo, some of you, your biggest one of your biggest obstacles is if somebody says something nice to you or somebody begs you for something, you you kind of get soft here through your swords, right? Somebody pulling on your heartstring and you might end up doing something that you don't really want to do, okay? And it always there's always um, this outcome where you would regret having caved in to that one particular person, um, where there's somebody borrowing money from you, or somebody wanting to reconcile with you, or it could be anything asking you for help um, in the storm of verse, and you end up um, affecting your own self, uh, how did, how would I put it, your well-being, okay? You affect your own well-being, you end up causing instability in within yourself or in your life. All right, Virgo, I'm struggling a little bit with this reading. However, I hope it serves you well. Uh, I did this reading because somebody actually said, hey, somebody commented about they would like to know, you know, what, what their obstacles are. So I thought, okay, let me just do this reading. But in any case, I, again, hope that um, it serves you well. If it did, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm open for personal readings. If you like a very accurate reading, everybody tells me that you can book me either through PayPal or um, Linktree. All right. All the information is in the, in the description box below. For those of you who don't know, I do have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. I usually go live on there. And um, yeah, and I do prediction reading. I'm going to do it soon. All right, take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. And don't forget to also hit on the bell notification button on this channel so you'll be notified every time when I post your videos, which is every single day. I love you, Virgo. Bye.